Hey everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll-related videos every single day, and today's video, we're gonna talk Barbie. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I mention Barbie dolls a lot and not always in a positive light, and I wanted to explain why, because I think that my point doesn't always get across and it just sounds like I am hating on Barbie, which I'm not doing. Um, I actually really like Barbie dolls. I have a pretty decent sized collection of Barbie. They're not my favorite. I generally prefer more fantasy driven dolls or more like out there fun concept type of dolls, which Barbie has done before, just to be clear. Um, so m much of the Barbie dolls that exist in the world just don't appeal to me, but I still really like them and I can still acknowledge when there's a uh, quality of design and quality of material on a doll always, even if they're not my 100% favorite. So I've gathered four Barbaras here today. These are all dolls who I really like the look of. So this isn't going to be like, I picked the most beautiful holiday Barbie, although I actually kind of did. Um, I'll talk about it. Um, and then I picked like the ugliest holiday Barbie. No, I picked all dolls that I really, really like. So um, let's get into who I picked for this video. So first we have the 2022 Holiday Barbie. I bought her recently. I need to unbox her. So yeah, I got her on sale on Black Friday and I'm so excited that I got her because I think she's amazing. And then I got the Easter... <laughs> I keep trying to call her Easter Surprise, but Easter Sweetie Barbie. She was actually gifted to me in my P.O. box that, in a package that I opened a couple days ago and she came from one of you guys. So huge thank you to James. I'm really excited about this doll in particular. She's the Easter Sweetie doll. And yeah, she released, I think in around 2012, she has a 2009 box date. But I think I found a Time to Play mag um, review of her from like 2012. So I assume that's when she came out. And then 2004 Holiday Barbie. I have had her for about a year now. Like, well, maybe like six months, I should say. And she's been in box, but you know what? I just want to open her. I'm not really feeling her in box. She's so pretty and I've wanted that doll for so long and I'm not finding one out of box so I'm just gonna open that one whatever it's my doll collection and then I have Barbie extra number 12 this um feel like compares really nicely with this one even though this is actually a deluxe doll so I'm actually stacking the odds in the 2022 release dolls favor just so you know so I'm not just being unfair here because this is a budget release doll um I don't have any budget modern Barbies because there is so few of those that have come out in the past like five years that I um feel like I could make a review on in any way and I'm just gonna leave it at that she I got on sale for ten dollars at Walmart and she's super super cute and I actually really like Barbie Extra I think Barbie Extra is a huge step in the right direction and let me explain via this video why I think so all right I am going to unbox all of these dolls now so I will be right back I'm in the middle of unboxing these and I got here, I just thought this was so you could open this, but check this out, there's Velcro that opens up and shows you all of the holiday Barbies. This almost makes me wanna leave this doll in box. Almost, but I, I really wanna open her. I've had her for months and I've decided, you know what? I really wanna play with this doll, so. And this box is not in very good condition, so I'm not that, I mean, it's in pretty decent condition, I'd say, but it's not perfect. So I just really wanna get her out of here. I want to free her, but how cute is this? So, um, this is definitely a huge, um, plus one in the, in terms of, like, the quality of this doll, because the box for the newest Holiday Barbie was not, it's literally just a chunk of cardboard, and there's not a lot of fun design going on with it. I mean, it's cute that there's a picture. I mean, that's it. That's, it's just a piece of cardboard, really, um, so that's kind of lame, but wow i mean even just the construction of this box is very impressive but anyway that's not really part of this review i mostly want to look at the dolls but i just really wanted to highlight this also like the hanging things this is so cool all right my friends so all four dolls are now out of the packaging i must say that this is one of the most difficult unboxing experiences i've ever had but i really wish that other limited edition dolls were packaged like her because she used the tiniest little plastic ties and like this really delicate thread to hold her in the box so she's not damaged from the packaging at all which often limited edition type dolls end up being so i really appreciate this anyway so we're going to be moving these two aside and starting off this review by comparing these two and before we get started if i start lampooning a doll at all it is not 
at all a reflection of who designed the doll. It is a reflection of this internal process that goes on at toy companies where the design is translated into a product. Now, sometimes that is translated well and sometimes it just isn't. Sometimes cost cutting absolutely destroys the initial vision of the doll. So to be clear, anything negative I'm saying, unless I specifically point out a design flaw that was part of the original design sketch, is merely a point against the quality of the doll. Anyways, so first we're going to do an overview of each of the holiday Barbies. And again, these were selected basically at random, which I, uh, <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. But you know what? These are similar price points. They're both main series holiday Barbie dolls. And here we go. So this is a variant. To be clear, the variants are basically no different. They just have different facial screenings and different hair. They always have the exact same dress. Almost always, I should say, because I don't 100% know. But in this case, if I were to get the blonde version of this doll, same exact outfit, the hair might be mildly different, but I'm not really going to go over the hair too much. So this is the 2022 Holiday Barbie. I'm in love with this one. The reason that I had to have this one, as opposed to like every other Holiday Barbie that's been released in the last 10 years... <laughs> is because of her face. So she is, I believe, the second ever Barbie doll to use this face sculpt. Um, the first one was the Flight of Fashion or Flight of Fantasy. What is that doll called? Um, she's one of my grails, actually. I love that doll. Um, and now this one. So I had to have this doll, and she's really, really beautiful. She has red hair. I believe she was a Walmart exclusive, and I really like the way that her face is done. I have no criticisms of the face at all. I really like her little pearl earrings that she has, and she just looks very friendly and beautiful. And then I really love the hair. It's pretty uh gelled up but it's nice saran hair and it's all you can ask for and there's plenty of it on the head it is very well rooted which i appreciate and i like the style of it it's like side parted but it has this nice little ponytail up to the top if we move down the bodice of the dress so this one's poinsettia themed i'm pretty sure that's what it's um telling me and this one is completely monochromatic which the doll that um, the older doll that I'm also going to be reviewing is also monochromatic, so that's fun. So she has a simple sweetheart neckline, kind of like a, is this called like a drop waist in the case of like where you start the skirt? I don't know, but it's pretty low waisted, I'd say. And I really like the fit of this a lot. There's no darts or anything except right here, but it fits super, super nicely. It's very pretty. Clearly patterning went very well for this doll. And I love this little tool poinsettia right here. Very, very pretty. She has a static pose. You can move her arms a little bit and her legs a little bit, but um, these dolls are on are they called model muse bodies or am I mistaken? Um, <laughs> they're on like stationary bodies essentially that are meant to be more like for collector dolls because these are collector dolls. They're like playline collector is what I like to call them. And there is this really nice ribbon that they used here as this strap that crosses over. I super like the design of this dress. I think it is beautiful. And she has red nail polish, which was unexpected actually. I don't normally see Barbies with nail polish at all. And then if we move down, we can take a look at her dress. So it is a multi-layered skirt. So we have one layer that is petals for the poinsettia, and I really like the way that they're gathered at the waist. And then there's a second layer that is also petals, but they're cut further down so that you can see both. And I'm not a big satin fan, you guys know this, but I actually really like that the satin that they chose here is very, like, dimensional looking. Like, I don't know why, but it seems like there's two different colors of thread, possibly, that made this. I have no idea, but it's, like, really, really beautiful. Like, you see on the spots where the light is, there's, like, a grainy texture to it. It's not grainy feeling at all. It's very smooth, but I don't know. I really like how that looks. There's no hemming, um, which is egregious, but we'll get there. And then we have some tulle here, and then finishing it off with another layer of satin down here. This is, like, a lot cheaper of a material than this. I, in fact, I don't think this is satin. I, I guess it might be. It feels a lot cheaper than this. This is very luxe and pretty. And then her shoes are very, very gorgeous. I was not expecting these. And then the stand is undetailed, and it is a thigh-gripping stand is the best I would describe that. So that is the 2022 Holiday Barbie. I super like this one, actually. I think she's really, really beautiful as a doll. Now, I think the retail price for this doll was like $40. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, also, I showed it earlier, but the box for this doll is very, very basic. Like, I don't think this is a doll to leave in box, honestly. Barbie signature, which is how you know it's a collector doll. But again, the Holiday Barbies always have been like playline collectors. So it's a collector doll that is supposed to appeal to kids and adults. 
Um, and then there's all of the holiday Barbies this year. I love every single one of the choices for these. These are gorgeous. And it says she is inspired by the beautiful poinsettia flowers. So there we go. Next, we're going to be looking at the 2004 Holiday Barbie, and I really want to emphasize that I picked this doll basically at random. It's just one I happened to find on Facebook Marketplace months ago, and I wanted to unbox. I feel very strongly that I need to say that as we get into the review, because this doll feels like... Uh, I'm sorry, I'll get there, I'll get there. Okay, so as with our other Holiday Barbie, we're going to start with the face. This doll has rooted eyelashes, which... Honestly, I was not expecting on the Holiday Barbie dolls, but maybe I need to go back and look at them. This is so, so beautiful. Really, really love it. And her makeup has, like, a really delicate shine to the eyeshadow. It's very, very pretty. And she has really tiny little earrings, too. Look at those. There's some little threads here and there just from the unpacking experience, so don't worry about that. She has some gel right here in her hair, but the rest only has a little bit of gel in it. Doesn't look great from the packaging, though. Like, look at that. It was, like, sewn into place. This isn't great, so this is going to take some brushing and washing to make it look super good and then she has some beads in her hair i think these are supposed to be like all together but mine are kind of drifting but that's okay very very nice little hairstyle i really like it i like this little piece that's pulled forward and then i believe it's so yeah it's sewn into place here i'm gonna be leaving it because i like how it looks there and these are like collector dolls so i use them a little bit differently than most other dolls in my collection and then she has is this metal oh my god this is metal what okay she has a metal necklace with actual little rhinestones on it wow oh my god what sorry i wasn't expecting that wow okay and then she has this really nice little coat on which is lined with velvet what wow yeah and there's little sleeves look at this it's like fully lined what Okay, so she has a little coat. Very, very cute. She has this really nice corset top. Check that out. There's like these little glitter snowflakes and polka dots. There's tulle up here to like add to this look. The straps are also that tulle material with the glitter glued on. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but they glue it on in some capacity. It's not shedding too much, which is impressive because it is actually like a rough glitter. You can see a little bit on my fingers. And then underneath there's actually rubber bands, I believe. Yeah so that it holds itself up better, but those do dry rot over time. And then it looks like the skirt and top are separate. Yeah, so the skirt and top here, oh wow. Details continue onto the back. Cool, oh, and there's some plastic there so that it doesn't stain your doll, which I appreciate. Um, there was also tissue paper on her legs to keep it from staining as well. Just a heads up. All right, moving down, we can take a look at her skirt, which is so big and beautiful. So I love green. I love, love, love green. It's my favorite color, so yeah, <laughs> that's... I've been wanting this holiday Barbie for so long, and even when she's been in box, I haven't really considered myself the proud owner of her because I haven't gotten to play with her, so I'm really excited about this. She has this amazing beading all down the dress, which is so cool. They're just little strings of beads, but it still adds so much. You can see it here, and this really cool gathering here. There were a couple of threads, and you can see these little plastic ties from the packaging. They do pop right out, but they get kind of stuck in the velvet. Oh, by the way, this is a crushed velvet material, which is so luxurious and... Um, it's like really heavy so it lays really cool although I wish that this dress had like a some kind of foundation underneath so that it would puff out more because it's a really big skirt um it had some tissue paper but the tissue paper didn't make it look like it was supposed to be poofy so I think it is supposed to be like um kind of more draping which explains why they picked such a heavy fabric look at this it even like trains slightly oh I guess you wouldn't call that training but look how it's big. It's a big, gorgeous skirt. And then there's not technically any detail on the back, although I'm not sure if there would, there's like intended to be. She does not have painted nails. She has simple little, oh, she does not fit on her stand, by the way. She flies off of it. Um, she has these really simple little green pumps. And then it says Holiday Barbie Special 2004 Edition. It's very cute that they wrote the dates on these in case you really did unbox them and wanted to display them all together. And then she comes with this little coin purse, which has some tissue in it to like floof it out. Look at this. So it's, like, openable through this, but it doesn't actually open from the front. But, like, this is metal, by the way. Metal and rhinestones. And then she just has a little coin purse, which I was not at all expecting. And it's super, super cute. It's hard to get her to hold it because the rubber band dry rotted since she's been in box for almost 20 years. Which is crazy to say because I was five years old in 2004. <laughs> so that's it for this part. I just don't understand what happened with the Holiday Barbie because it's kind of been like this for the last couple of years I have quite a few of the recent ones and I also have quite a few of the older ones I have some of the 90s ones too and they've 
kind of, they were always really, really nice up until at some point in the 2010s, they just sharply declined. And I don't know what happened. They also don't sell super well anymore. And I don't know if maybe they stopped selling super well. So they stopped putting so much budget into them. I have no idea. So this doll retailed for $40. I got her for 20 because she was on a Black Friday sale, but they usually will float around 30 to $40, but their intended retail, I believe is like 36 or something. Um, and I just, just listen. I just, and there's no fluff under here to be clear. That's just, that's just how it sounds. The coin purse will not stay. So I'm not, I have trouble with this part always. I understand completely that inflation has happened and the prices of products changes. And I understand completely that you can't with the same price of a doll get the same quality these days. I completely get it. But what I don't understand is how in 20 years a doll with absolutely no trims on her dress, no hemming even, like on the main feature of the dress, which are the petals, um, and just like no extra accessories. The only real accessories that aren't like standard to a doll, like you kind of have to come with shoes, would be the earrings, I guess. Uh, whereas this doll has like a hairband, a little like a metal thing, a I just, oh, and the jacket. Let's not forget the jacket. And then, like, the coin purse. I just, I don't get it. So when I'm saying that I don't understand what happened to Barbie or I'm criticizing modern Barbie, this is why. This is majorly why. Um, I truly don't understand. So to answer the question of the kind of title and thumbnail of this video, do I hate Barbie? Why do I hate Barbie? I don't hate Barbie. It's just disappointing to see a doll brand and like a company that was really, really capable of producing just glorious, fantastic dolls. To And this doll, to be clear, the designer did a beautiful job. The design of this doll, like I've seen the sketches, is absolutely gorgeous. And the idea of this doll too is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But it's sad that at some point in production, or like prototyping, they cut so much from the dolls. Like, imagine how much would have been added with just a simple bracelet, you know? And I'm not even saying, like, that I have a problem with simple designs. I quite like simple designs. But there's things you can do to elevate a simple design in terms of the quality. And using, like, the cheapest plasticky satin you can possibly use is not it. And I understand that they wanted to, like, have a form this dress. So that's fine. It's just, when you're spending $36 on one singular Barbie doll... And that property doll is being marketed to you and sold as a doll that has elevated quality. You know, you're spending more because this is an heirloom doll that you're going to keep in your family for generations. And it's a time-honored tradition now for the past, like, 30 years, more than that, to have, like, holiday Barbie dolls. It's, like, a thing. So that's why I'm so critical of Mattel because they'll – it's almost like they're – forsaking their customers right and it makes me sad truly because imagine like you got this doll as a kid and you cherished this doll and you loved it and you still have it to this day right and then I mean this doll came out when I was five years old right so that is in the realm of possibility for my age group and then say I had a kid and I got her her first holiday barbie or th their first holiday barbie and it was this one. I would be, like, completely shocked at the big change. And I do wonder how parents actually feel about Barbie dolls because the only real reviews you see from parents are incentivized heavily by, uh, we want Mattel to send us PR or, or they're, um, they're, like, mommy bloggers that were sent PR to do a review of the doll. Um, so I don't know. It's fascinating because I... I can't imagine if, I mean, I, and this isn't even coming from a collector, like, I can't imagine going from this when I was a kid to getting this for my kid. It wouldn't, it just doesn't compare. I don't know. And then also, Barbie's a hugely collected doll line. People love, 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 love Barbie. There's so many Barbie collectors. They probably have more, collect I mean, I can say that certainly. They have more collectors than any other doll brand ever will. Um, and... It's weird because I don't really see a lot of Barbie collectors that are currently collecting Barbie and have been for the past, like, 20 years or more. 
say anything about this. It's weird, right? Like, I see occasionally they'll be like, oh, I don't really like this one, but I never really see discourse about the steep decline. And I do think it is partially... So, Mattel is a publicly traded company, and that means that they are at the whim of their shareholders. They kind of have to abide by what their shareholders want them to do. And... I think that's a big part of it, too. And also, Mattel had a huge drop in their um, profits and the money they get to play around with um, in the mid-2010s when they lost Disney Princess and a bunch of their other doll lines started to fail really hard. Um, so there's also that. But in order to kind of maintain or, like, gain back the faith that your customers had in you and gain back the kind of status that Barbie once had because even on sale I don't really see Barbie dolls move that much in stores and it's really sad it's sad I don't and I don't really know what the solution is other than like well <laughs> the next part of this review is actually going to be much more positive because I was blown away unboxing the Barbie extra doll so we'll get there but I think that Mattel needs to get back to having faith in Barbie and giving Barbie the quality and attention to detail and love that Barbie deserves. There's so many talented people on the Barbie team that are just being underutilized. I, well, they're being utilized. They're producing beautiful designs and they're, those designs do follow through and become dolls, but they never really match the designs. This technically matches the design, but on the level of like the bare minimum we could have done to meet the design that was created, you know? And I just think that's sad and I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to move on from these two. So that concludes the Holiday Barbie portion of this review. So now we're going to move on to our Easter Sweetie Barbie doll. So this is a budget doll, to be clear. I didn't have any budget modern Barbies, and it wouldn't be fair, honestly, if I did. Um, so we're just going to look at both of these. So first, this doll released in 2012, and I can say that confidently now, more confidently than earlier, confidently than earlier, because she has really bad glue seeping. Well, it's actually not too bad right now, but you can see it damaged her packaging, which is such a shame, because I was really hoping to cut out this really gorgeous Barbie logo and keep it. Um, I love this doll. I love, love, love this doll. So this is an Easter special doll, and she's meant to be like, you know, just a budget, like quick doll to add to your life. I really like the packaging, actually, because it's very simple, but like... It says, color Barbie doll's friend, and the friend is the bunny and the little chick. It's just really cute and simple. I like it. And then she also came with some stickers, which, oh my god. Oh, are they lightly sparkly? They're sparkly. Oh my gosh. They're in a plastic thing. I'm going to be leaving them in. So, so cute. The copyright date here is 2009, too. Weird. Did they release her multiple times? I don't know. But anyway, 2009 to 2012-ish, so like 10 years ago, whatever. <laughs> Around 10 years ago. This is really cute really really cute i love this art it's so gorgeous reminds me a lot of some of the early fashionistas had like really cute little uh cartoon characters and then she doesn't have any earrings her hair is very nice though it's saran other than the glue seepage it's very nice it's well rooted i think the style would look a lot nicer if it weren't for the glue seeping through it and there's also a little bit of gel but looks kind of like a mess right now but i'm not worried about that and then i really like this look it has two different colors of paint and it's plated that's really cool. There were a lot of really nice plated doll accessories for um, Barbie specifically back at this time period. And I really love the Barbie face of this time period. It's very nostalgic to me now. I wasn't actually too into it when it first came out um, because it was just like, it was the Barbie face, you know, like Millie is now. Um, but I don't mind Millie. I've, I've kind of evolved as a person, I think. <laughs> and then we have this really cute little stack of bracelets. It's just a hunk of plastic in one color, which, you know, they're still doing that. <laughs> and then this dress is really, really cute. So the material, I can't decide what it is, but it's kind of that, like, it's actually Barbie's favorite material now. It's that kind of papery material, which I actually don't mind that material when it's used correctly, and it was used very nicely here. Um, look how cute this is. We've got decorative stitches, or is this a decorative one, or is this? Oh, never mind. This is an intentional. So this is a construction stitch, actually. Um, but I love the little cartoon character all over this. I love the little trim. Like, look at this. They did a trim. And then there's some ribbons here for the waistband. Very, very cute. Everything's hemmed. This is kind of crazy to look at next to each other, but um, it's a bit bleak, so we're not going to do it. Uh, I really, really like the construction of this dress. Very simple, but very, very cute. This is kind of the, the standard Barbie you're going to see is going to have something like this. I like the shape of the dress a lot. It's very cute. I'm not going to say it's like glorious quality or anything, but I like the things that they added to make it not just a hunk of fabric. <clears throat> Modern fashionistas. Like, they added the 
glitter and the trim and the little ribbons and the skirt and the top are separate pieces that are sewn together um, just to make it like a more interesting construction to the piece. And it's very nice. And I don't mind the material they used because it helps it hold its shape really well. And I like the way that the gathers look in that material. And then her shoes are silver, which I really was not expecting. And they look pretty good. She has click jointed knees also. And um, most Barbies up until the like... Hmm like life in the dream house era they really did not do articulation if you found an articulated barbie it was like unusual oh no you know what i think the original fashionistas were actually pretty articulated weren't they okay original fashionistas so like early 2010s they started like actually adding articulation otherwise like there weren't a lot it would be like gimmick type dolls that had articulation you know or like the more more like the very much more expensive ones had articulation so um for a budget doll this is pretty standard um but i thought truly when i was like conceptualizing this video i thought this doll was gonna wipe the floor with this one because i've opened some other barbie extra dolls that and i like barbie extra a lot i like all of my barbie extra dolls especially the designs uh not so much on some of the quality of them but i really thought this doll was going to wipe the floor with the barbie extra doll but then when i was unboxing this one i was like oh wow never mind um so consider this less of like a direct comparison and just more more fun you know because Whatever, but I mean, this doll also retailed for like 25 and I'm gonna venture to guess this doll retailed for 10 which is what I paid for this one, funny enough. So, yeah, but it's, you know. So let's take a look at this Barbie Extra doll now. I'm very impressed with her. So she's one of the like Millie ones. So the blonde Barbie, there's always gonna be one in every wave. And I think this is a really, really strong entry. I super like this doll. So for starters, she has amazing soft, shiny saran hair with no product in it except here they decided to do hair art which i like in concept but in practice it just produces this weird thing um but it is very cute and it's fun and i like when they take chances even if they don't always 100 percent pay off and i'm sure for kids this will be super fun too so like whatever her hair is very interesting though because it behaves so like like very thin hair which is not a bad thing but it behaves almost like connect line because it's like getting everywhere but i think that's actually because the static of this is like interfering with it a lot and then it's a very very dense rooting pattern as well which i appreciate a lot and there's a little braid just to add an extra little oomph to it which is very impressive because with even budget dolls from the original barbie dolls you know or not original oh my god obviously not original but um barbie dolls of decades past You'd always see, like, cute little hairstyles of some sort. It was never just down, but often with new Barbies, it's just down, which is fine. It can be just down, but when it's every single doll, it's a bit disappointing. But she has a little braid. It's just adding an extra little thing, and I appreciate it. And her face is very pixelated. Uh, this is kind of a newer thing with Barbies, if you don't know. They do this um, printing thing that is just very pixelated. I, I don't... 100% like mind it like it's not that big of a deal to me because it's not that obvious from far away but it it is not my favorite not my favorite she has plated earrings also I like that very very pretty so that's a point on the plated accessories front and okay her outfit is so cool so so cool I probably would have skipped this Barbie extra doll had I not found her in person on clearance for ten dollars and I was like yeah I'll get her look at this she has this like I would call this like a raincoat and I, I can't decide which way it's supposed to be worn i guess i could have checked the box art okay she's wearing it right so it's just a piece of vinyl it's actually multiple pieces of vinyl it is sewn together and it has little flowers printed all over it it is so adorable it's so adorable and it has a little snap it's not even velcro a little snap to hold it on how cool is this this is so out there and interesting i love it that's what barbie extra um, although there's been some quality issues with some of them, I will say that they have been consistently delivering really fun and interesting concepts, and I really like that because that's something that I feel Barbie has been lacking a lot recently, so it's really cool to see it back. Um, especially when this is, like, a whole series that continues to do it. It's super cool. So, um, the outfit is made out of what appears to be meant to look like denim. It is... You know, not my favorite material. It's just one of those materials that's easy to print on, I guess, which is fine. It's kind of... It feels papery somewhat, but it's not bad. Like, it's pretty heavy, actually, and it's a very thick material. And I don't super like it for the top, but I do super like it for the bottom. But um, I, I think this is supposed to have, like, a very open silhouette up here, and I love the printing. The fabric printed detail is glorious. I love it. And look at the... 
the collar and I love this little front piece. This is actually like an extremely impressive Barbie shirt. I, I like really like this. How cute is that? And it has a little button too. It's a little fake button right there, but it's not just printed on. It's actually like a tangible thing, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to move down to the skirt, which is probably my favorite piece other than this. But this is, I mean, I could make this, you know, but this, oh my God. So it's, oh, actually it's shorts, isn't it? Okay. It really looks like a skirt to me. So here's the shorts. I love this dis distressed denim-like material here. They did an amazing job with this, and there's even a protective stitch. Um, I don't always like when there's a protective stitch, but I appreciate what it does, because if this material continues to fray, because it's intentionally frayed right now, but if it continues to fray, it could ruin the doll. But they've put a little protective stitch to kind of help stop that, which I appreciate. She has real working pockets, which um, it's not something you see every day with Barbie dolls. You can really, really tell that Barbie or Mattel is trying to make Barbie more competitive recently and I am so grateful. I am so so grateful. Look at the decorative stitching on this and it's just so cute. These are so cute. And then um of course we can't leave out that this doll is actually fully articulated, which is amazing. And she's not on a made to move body. I know made to move is like the pop and she doesn't have articulated ankles. Um made to move is like the popular Barbie body and I get why. It's very I mean it has a lot of joints, and the joints move more than most joints, but I honestly can't stand that body. I don't 100% like how it looks. Um, I don't know. I don't like the look of double-jointed knees, although I like how they function, and they also have double-jointed elbows, don't they? I don't know, but I definitely prefer this body, so I'm glad Extra uses it. Look how cute these shoes are. No painted detail or anything, but no big deal. Sometimes you don't really need painted detail. It's fine. Very cute little booties, and then I love this. I, w I just I noticed this earlier. Look! painted detail on the bracelet and then a stack of bracelets here and this really cute little tiny purse which oh that's little like mold imperfections I guess oh hello a little thing on the front very cute I love that little jelly purse so that's just the stuff that the doll comes wearing I'm blown away I'm blown away and I have quite a few extra dolls already if you've been on my channel for a while so and I've liked them all but as you can see I'm not like bouncing off the walls trying to get more of them but now i'm kind of thinking i'm gonna buy some more and as they release i might keep doing that because wow i normally just buy them opportunistically like oh this one's on sale um i very rarely am like oh i'm gonna go pick this one up right away just because i've been so consistently disappointed but um I'm blown away by this one. I'm truly blown away. The only other one I felt this way about was one of the original ones with the two-piece red outfit. And I think, did she have like a rainbow jacket or something? Or am I making that up? I don't know, but she was amazing. Um, we have some cute sunglasses with painted details and they match super. I love this outfit. I love the whole concept of this. The designer for this one, they seriously nailed it. And the department that translates designs into dolls also nailed it beautiful so that's what those little sunglasses look like and then i wanted to move down because i wanted to show you the other accessories that she comes with because barbie extra dolls come with extra stuff comes with this bunny which is kind of funny that i happened to pick a bunny themed doll um as well look at the little earrings that are painted too and she has a necklace that is actually a separate piece and the barbie doll could totally wear this too how cute is this and then she has a bucket hat that says oh my god it says bunny extra I thought it said Barbie. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. What? Blown away. Blown away. And then we have this love necklace. I like the extra necklaces. They don't really match. And they're not amazing quality or anything, but they're fun for people who have more than one Barbie. Or if you even only have one, you can play with it. And then this, when I first opened it, it was like this. And I was like, lame. And then I noticed there's like more to it. So, like, what is... I don't know how this works. Like, what is this? Did they just... Oh, did they put cardboard there just to make it... Like, what is that? Oh, okay. I was like, is, does it have a feature? No, I think they just did that so it wouldn't be hollow. I don't know. I'll put it back. I opened it this way and I was like, of course, another undetailed bag. But no, it has painted detail on it. And it's like a cute little flower basket. Wow. And that concludes this video. So for my final thoughts, I have to say that in the on the collector side, I'm very disappointed and confused, frankly. I don't know what's going on over here. They need to work on this. Uh, beautiful doll, again, don't get me wrong. Design is beautiful. I love the doll, but there's seriously something wrong over here. Um, the fact that this doll is leagues higher quality than this doll, and I don't even just mean like 
she comes with more stuff. I mean higher quality. Like, it's not that this one's articulated because Holiday Barbies never have been. It's not that this one has more accessories because Holiday Barbies generally don't come with a lot of extra accessories. It's purely the materials used, the lack of hemming on this one, and yeah, I just... That's a problem, right? If if a parent or anybody else is to spend $40 on the Holiday Barbie and the better doll ends up being the $25 one, that's alarming. Uh, <laughs> and I know these dolls are kind of meant more to stay in box, but you can tell that there's no hemming on this dress and it's pretty simple. Which again, it is a simple design and I like simple designs. I have lots of dolls that come with simple designs that I think are exceptionally high quality. I just think this doll didn't end up being super high quality. Which is a huge shame. Huge, huge shame. And that doesn't mean I don't love her. It just... If you like something... And this is a breakthrough, guys. You're not going to believe it. If you like something, you can be critical of it. You can have bad things to say about things that you like. And if you don't, I'm worried about you. That aside. Um, the decline in 20 years from here to here is seriously alarming. And this, honestly, these two, if they had come out in the same year would make sense to me, you know? This is our, like, Playline $25 doll, and this is the $15 extra doll. Um, I do think this extra, huh? I, th I do think this, uh, the quality on this one justifies more than a $15 price difference, but if this doll had come out in 2004 along with this doll, I would not be mad at the difference here. I would be very impressed by both of them. I really, really love this doll. I'm very impressed. And, um, I love this one too, but she's just a budget doll. I just wanted to sneak her into a video, honestly. But, yeah, so I'm very impressed with Barbie. I thought Barbie um, Extra Fancy was going to be where Barbie came back to fight, but I have two Barbie Extra Fancy dolls. I haven't opened the second one that I bought just because I've been so, like, I was so, I liked my other Barbie Extra Fancy, but um, as I've just kind of had her in my doll room, I've been playing with her, I've been posing her, I've been moving her around, trying to take pictures of her. I don't know. I've been kind of, mm, not as impressed as I was when I saw them initially. Um, when I saw, like, the leak picture, or not, they weren't leaked, I don't think, I think they just had, like, their product images posted, and I was, like, blown away, I made a whole video about how excited I was about them, um, but I don't know, I'm much more impressed with this doll than I was with that doll. That doll's a beautiful doll, don't get me wrong, and I love her design, but she just ended up being kind of, eh, in other ways, because she was so expensive, she was like, what, do those retail for $35? <laughs> um, but at least that's, that doll's better than that doll, though, so, there's that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. And if you have, like, modern Barbie dolls that have come out in the past, like, four years that you think are exceptional, I would love to hear about it. Or dolls that you were disappointed by, too, either from 20 years ago or now. Um, I'm very curious about it because this is an open discussion. And this was a kind of a random assortment of dolls. I did pick all dolls that I liked the look of already because um, these are just dolls that I happened to have in my collection that I wanted to unbox anyway. But, um... It could be sampling bias here, but again, I, I've been collecting dolls for over 10 years, and I've experienced them. I've seen them all. Um, there, I mean, I haven't seen them all, but I've seen, you know, a fair sampling from every single generation of Barbie that's happened, and I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried about a lot of the modern ones. And, you know, there's lots of 2010 dolls that are stinkers. There's lots of 2000 dolls that are probably stinkers. Can't think of any off the top of my head, but, you know, they exist, I'm sure. Um, but... I really love Barbie Extra. I'm so excited about the future of Barbie Extra as they continue. Because this doll is so much better than the original Barbie Extras. Except for a few. Except for a few. The quality of this doll is blowing me away. Like, blowing me away. I'm so impressed. I didn't even put this back on and this is like my favorite piece. I love those shorts too, though. Those shorts are so cute with the working pockets. Are you kidding me? Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And yeah, for all this time. Bye.